Happy birthday, Bitcoin. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thanks again for joining us. Yes, Bitcoin's birthday today, 12 years old. Now it's gonna depend on where you classify its birth, but I'm liking the date to be the 3rd of January because that is the first day that Bitcoin was mined. That was the first block, the Genesis block. The white paper was put out 31st of October, 2008. So maybe you can call that a birthday, but I think it's really the 3rd of January. That's the date that I'm gonna claim as Bitcoin's birthday. And we'll see on the charts why that is such a good date to choose as Bitcoin's birthday, especially with the other events that unfolded over the first one to two weeks of Bitcoin's birth. All right, so if you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Remember to hit that subscribe and the like button down below. If you find some value from the channel and you want to join us for the cryptocurrency bull market here, of course, I also talk about stocks and other things with our investment portfolio, in particular, technical analysis. And of course, we get into the news and fundamentals to merge these together so that we have an understanding of market sentiment. For the returning guys, the regular viewers, thank you for your support. I couldn't have done it without you guys. We're at nearly 36,000. I think we're gonna to get to 40,000 sooner than I could ever imagine. Sure, it's a lot of cryptocurrency, but it's an exciting time. I love the space. I've been talking about it for years, even when people weren't watching, still talking about it now. Anywho, Bitcoin's birthday today, and I've got a few Bitcoin videos here if you wanna check those out afterwards. Let's have a look at the first thing, and of course, we need to see what the price is today. 33,450, uh, market cap 619 billion, still way ahead of the game, and we're closing in on Elon Musk's Tesla market cap, which was somewhere around 670 billion last time I had a look. All right, we've already flipped Warren Buffett. Maybe we'll come back and retest that, but anyway, we've flipped Buffett. Let's move on, have a quick look at the charts, and then get on with some of the news. Now, we are well and truly away from this all-time high, or the previous all-time high, I should say. I still classify that as the all-time high. It was such an emotional time of year uh, in 2017. Where uh, the new top, 34,800. I guess some are calling it 35,000, just depending on which exchange you're on. So uh, 34,800. These are the levels that I looked at on a previous video, looking at potential turns in the market. And I am saying, well, you know, this is me, not financial advice. You gotta choose what suits you guys best. But I think we'll see a top within this week, if not next week. Now I've got a few things that I'm looking at here. Uh, firstly, the structure. It is just catastrophic up. Euphoric, that's a better word. It's a euphoric move to the upside. Uh, everyone is talking about it. Market sentiment is crazy high. People are asking, you'll see in the comments, should I buy now, should I buy now, should I buy now? These are people who've probably heard about it but just didn't buy months ago. Sorry if that's you. Look, these are all signals that are coming in. Market sentiment, technicals, fundamental. A lot of videos coming out of people saying Bitcoin should be a million. It'll go to 500,000. Uh, it, its real value is X amount. Just some stupid huge number. These articles usually happen the more that people pile into the market and the more sentiment there is, the higher the market sentiment there is, these articles will come out. So add that to our list to check off as, is this gonna be a high? The other thing I'm looking at is, is our fibs. So log scale, let's, let's uh, hit the auto. This is the range that I'm measuring, the bear market low of 2015 to the bull market high of 2017, basically three years, because it was early 2015 and late 2017, call it three years. Uh, now projecting this range or just extending the range, uh, giving another 61% up and then another 161% up and, and so on, all the way up to our targets that just go on and on and on. You can keep projecting that. Our first target was 31,700. Now I've done videos on the channel where I'm expecting Bitcoin to get somewhere between 180 to 220,000. I'm thinking around that $200,000 mark. Reasons are in that video, I won't go over it again here. Uh, this is a very strong range that we are using just due to some of the support and resistance throughout the bear market. That's a very important note to understand. And of course, this is a major high and a major low. Uh, markets can overshoot and they regularly do overshoot, but then we wanna see where it 
land, see where the support and resistance end up. And right now it's basically hit our mark, not much else is happening, give it another few days, we'll see where we end up. This is the weekly chart here. So we've seen some price action hit, we've seen market sentiment come in, we are in a very emotional time period, it is the birth of Bitcoin. Now sure, a lot of people may not care about that at all, but it is ingrained into this market. This is when it was born, these are the anniversaries. Let's go back and you can see turns happen late December, early January. They don't have to be major turns, they can just be any sort of movement in the market. And Yes, I know other people will say, well you can do that for any date, fair enough. But the longer you understand, the longer you work with these anniversary dates, the easier you see the turns come. Uh, if it's new to you and you don't believe it, fine. Don't use it in your in your uh, toolbox. Use other tools, use other fundamental news analysis, whatever it is you want to use. But I found a lot of benefit to using dates and then time extensions, time periods. So the most notable is the all-time high, which was late, mid, December, sure we're a few weeks out from there, but again we're talking across three years, 2018, 19, 20, we're now into 21, so three years, give or take, you can't get these things to the exact date, but give it some time. So there is some time pressure building up here. Then you break those down into 50% as well, just like you do with your Fibonacci tools. Now if that's getting a little bit over people's heads, uh, I can explain that a bit more, but essentially we are just measuring and then breaking that measure down into fractions. That's what happens with price and now we're doing it with time. Price moves vertically, time moves horizontally. And if we are willing to accept that that is a possibility, then we can move on. Now, we've got lows in 2018. That was in December, so we've seen a turn in December, a turn in December. Uh, we saw a turn six months later. We saw a turn in March, also another very strong time period for Bitcoin and most markets, they tend to turn in mid-March, around that 21st day, it's a solstice. The equinoxes are June and, get me those right, June and December, they're the solstice, March and September are the equinox. All right, so end of year, let's have a look at some more January, early January to late December, mid to late December, going back to 2017, that was a major turn. Although it didn't stop the market, it was emotional at the time. December, who remembers that? January 2017, that was getting close to the previous all-time high. Huge reaction off that bar, look at that, down 34% and then it took off again. So it stopped the market. Next, let's have a look back into early 2015, major low, 12th of January, major low. That's the most, well, the second most recent all-time low, well, major low, sorry, not the all-time low because this thing just continues to go up. Early January, so, so far we've seen mid-December, early Januarys continue to hit on major turns and some minor turns. Now, I, I know there's another one up here, this was a major turn early January, early to mid-January as well. Look at that, tops hit and then the market just tanked from that point. Last one I want to have a look at is 2013 and I'm bringing this one up and it might not seem relevant to a lot of people but this was a point, you got this, looking at the dates down below here, uh, 7th of January, that's the week beginning the 7th of January, 2013, sure it's not a turn in the market like this or like this but energy picked up on that week and broke through the resistance which then caused that, alright? So make it that what you will, if you don't want to consider it, that's fine. But these are very, to me and to people who understand how to trade with time as well as price, time being very important, then they become very important to the trading, to understand that we can see some corrections at these times. Uh, this isn't just me making it up, this comes from GAN theory. So if you want to learn more about that, uh, WD GAN, he talked a lot about time it's worked over a hundred years, I mean he's only, he started trading in 1902, died in 1955, uh, so that's the life of his work. I won't go on any more about that, essentially there are a lot of time areas that are lining up along with price and market sentiment. So 
If we're not there this week, we're definitely there within a week or two. I'm putting my head out in the chopping block here, so come at me, XRP fanboys. Um, that's what I'm thinking is gonna happen here, and I'm, I'm willing to, to hold on for this as well. Again, lastly, do your own research on that as well, because you don't wanna be following just anyone on the internet and then blaming them. You've got to do your own research. This is how I am trading the market and that is what I'm sharing with you. That's, I've got to come up with a way to figure out where we're going to see a top, where I'm going to see a top so that I can continue with my investing. That's the way I come up with it. I'm just sharing that with you guys. If you had a different opinion, love to hear it down below. While you're there, remember hit the like if you find some value and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Of course, that bell notification icon goes a long way as well because YouTube loves to shadow ban cryptocurrency content. So that's the only way you'll really see it regularly. Now, let's get through some of the news. Now, the uh, the birth, marking the birth of the world's most popular cryptocurrency, the birthday is today. So they're saying the actual 3rd of January, however, uh, that's the birthday here. Th this commemorates the birth of the world's first cryptocurrency, the date on which Bitcoin officially came into existence in the practical sense and was mined for the very first time. So that's why I like January 3rd as the birth date for Bitcoin. All right, so this just goes on with some history here. October 31st, that was when the white paper was announced. Uh, late 2012, more than a thousand merchants had begun accepting Bitcoin. There's a lot of history here. Look at this, Xbox, Windows, the Microsoft started accepting uh, Bitcoin has payment for that first time and in December of that year that is 2014 Microsoft began accepting Bitcoin for Xbox and Windows software purchases by early 2015 the number of merchants accepting Bitcoin exceeded a whopping hundred thousand that's pretty decent I, I thought it was a lot less at that stage 2016 hash rate was up it's pretty cool there's a lot of stuff to go on here with Bitcoin and uh, its history since then let's take a look at Peter Brandt, and uh, he's talking about Bitcoin's, well, this is his Bitcoin forecast. It says Bitcoin's third parabolic advance just began. Uh, essentially, he's looking like we probably could hit a meteorically rise to 325,000. I got my sights set on 200, so if it gets to 300, I'll be over the moon. Not figuratively speaking, but uh, 300 sounds absolutely wild. Obviously, we're going to keep going with Peter Brandt. He's on Twitter. Bitcoin super cycle to $1 million. Kraken's Dan Held explains why Bitcoin could be in the early days of a super cycle. I went through and talked about this on the previous video of Ethereum. And at the market peaks, this sort of news comes out. We're going to see a lot of this news. Bitcoin to reach 500,000, 1 million. It should go to 400,000. That is all signs of a top coming in at some point. As they get more crazy like this, I definitely think the top is coming closer. Why is he saying a million now? Who knows? I, I don't know. It, it doesn't, I, I don't think it's possible for this cycle. Long term, sure, there is a possibility of Bitcoin going to a million. Of course, there's a possibility of any crypto going to a million. Can we say that? Anyway, but I don't think it's going to happen in this cycle. And there's just, I don't think there's the energy ready yet. From where we are now at 35,000 to get to 350,000, that's a 10x. We're currently at 800, 600 billion. That means we've got to go to $6 trillion market cap being half of gold's market cap. Gold's around that 11 to 12 trillion. We go 10x from here, that's $6 trillion. I don't know if we're gonna get there to that 350,000 level but it's not out of the question. If we're gonna to go to a million dollars, that's an $18 trillion market cap. Is it possible this cycle? We'll see, but I doubt it. All right, next piece. Uh, lastly, we've got Bitcoin ETF. More news on the Bitcoin ETF. I'm not gonna go on about it too much because this news continues to come up and down and up and down. They ask, they apply to the SEC to get a Bitcoin ETF. Nothing yet, but there's still news about it, so it's not dead. All right, last pieces, a thousand decade old. Remember to read that there, it's, it's a thousand Bitcoin. Decade old, dormant Bitcoins move today, not a thousand year old. 
Uh, that's the way I read it, thousand decade old. Move today on Bitcoin's 12th anniversary. So you know we keep track of this. We want to see any of the old Bitcoin being moved around. Essentially there is another thousand Bitcoin, like I just said there, that's being moved. It is being spent, but you, we don't know if, it is, if it's just going to someone, well, that same person's another address of theirs, or if it's actually being sold on the market and uh, a new person is buying it. That's, that's unknown. Essentially, that's what the article is talking about. So yeah, a thousand more are being moved around from that old Satoshi era uh, Bitcoin. And lastly, it's Genesis Block Day, 4th of Jan. So uh, basically, not your keys, not your Bitcoin. Taking Bitcoin off the exchanges, holding it so that we know uh, that our Bitcoin is safe. That's all this is talking about. A lot of people love to go on about this and it's a very, it, it is a very important piece of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Uh, some people love raving on about it with the news, but it's not much to it. It's just a matter of understanding what it's about. If you want to participate, it's a great way to secure the community even more, knowing that the Bitcoin keys are safe and they're not being held on exchanges, centralized exchanges, which could be hacked or crash at any point in time. That is the Bitcoin news for today. Thank you for joining me on Bitcoin's 12th birthday. Yes, I've got another prediction in here, price prediction of Bitcoin top coming in soon. <laughs> Let's wait and see. Uh, of course, do your own research. And of course, again, using the alert so that we know we don't have a top yet. Put on a daily. We haven't had a break of a daily swing low. Keep that in mind as well. And I'm sure people who are going to hate on this have not watched the end of the video to understand what it is I'm actually talking about. So be it. You'll see them in the comments. You guys can reply. Guys, thanks again for joining me. Hit that like button if you found some value. Subscribe down below for more cryptocurrency content coming your way throughout this bull market and of course our investment portfolio education. Uh, I've got a link to my website, drop your email address in there, I'll let you know when my trading and investment course is ready to go. It is very close, sorry for the guys who've been waiting so long. Uh, it talks about this in detail, how to get in at the bottoms, get out near the tops. All right guys, I'll see you at the next video. I appreciate you guys sticking around. And until next time, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.